China has identified the cause of the mysterious pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan city. And it's from the same family that caused the deadly SARS epidemic 17 years ago. It's a new type of coronavirus. The World Health Organization believes the discovery will help authorities around the world detect and respond to outbreaks. South Korea is the first country outside. Well, um, this is a bit of a strange time to be living in. If you didn't know, we are currently in a we're currently living in a pandemic right now, and um, yeah, because of a thing called COVID nineteen or coronavirus. Um, I'll, I'll explain the details and stuff soon. Just I've got, I've got to go wash my hands. Hold up. Yeah, because of COVID-19, we have to make sure we're as hygienic as possible just so we don't spread the germs, as well as isolating. I, myself, and probably even many other people have resorted to um, trying to entertain ourselves with little to nothing to do. I, I did tend to play a lot of guitar during the holidays and just isolation in general. Something fun to do and to pass the time. Yeah, me and some of my friends, we did commonly play a lot of Xbox as well. Right. As one way for us to connect right. properly, because we couldn't see each other in person, but oh, at least we could play sake. together and for still communicate. Sake. For fuck's sake! Unfortunately, for some people, due to coronavirus, they did lose their job. But for me, I was an essential worker, so I happened to be able to keep my job, which is pretty fortunate. But most people were given a job, see um, job seeker fund and other benefits to keep them by. And one of the other things I used to do was just FaceTime as well. You know, just FaceTime some friends and stuff. Because as I said before, we can't really go out and hang out like we normally would otherwise. The following interview that you're about to watch is what my friend had to say about his um, time and how he handled quarantine and isolation. Hi Blake. There you go. When you first heard about um, COVID-19, like the outbreak, did you originally think it was going to end up being as bad as it has turned out to be? Nah, no, nah, I didn't. Um, I kind of just thought, nah, I do. we won't worry about it. It's not going to get to Australia. It's not going to affect us at all. It's going to be... Overseas, we're not going to have an issue with it, but yeah, I was wrong about that. Has the COVID-19 outbreak in any form affected your mental health or well-being? Uh, not me, really, in particular, but um, I suppose other people have probably would have because, you know, like, like people with family members that have gotten sick or passed away or whatever, but yeah, no, not me. Been, you've been inside for so long, you know, you're probably getting bored and stuff. Do you have any special plans or anything else you want to do yeah. that you probably wouldn't have done otherwise? Go to the beach. That'd be nice. Go to the beach, go fishing, go back to work. Just going back to normal life would be awesome after being inside for so long, you know. That's about it, Blake. So um, thank you for your time. Thank you for interviewing me, man. All good. Ah, yes. After like about a month or two of online schooling and quarantine, we are finally back at school, as you can see. Feels a bit weird, but this is the start of going back to normal, I guess you could say. Yo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 